Hello, welcome to our tutorial on how to use the online courses calendar when logged into our online courses website. We have recently added this new tool so supervisors and trainers can have a little more control over the courses and or lessons they want their drivers to complete. First, start by logging into our website at courses.safetyvideos.org. Once you are there, simply log in as you usually would to access the group leader dashboard. Once logged in as a group leader, you can find the calendar at the bottom of the page. This sidebar will show you all of the available courses, lessons, and quizzes for the group you are administering over. You can click the plus sign next to a course to expand it and show all of its lessons. You can click the plus sign on the lesson to bring up the quiz associated to that lesson. In the past, drivers typically have had free reign over which courses and lessons they want to take. However, as a group leader, you may want to limit courses, lessons, or even the dates at which you want drivers to access them. Here's how it works. In this case, we will use the lesson Dispatcher Training. Now, let's say you don't want your drivers to access this lesson until a certain date. To do this, you would simply click on the lesson and drag it over to the date you would want the lesson to be available to students. Like this. Okay, easy enough. Next, we want to set the parameters for when it will be accessible. To do this, simply double click on the green box that shows the lesson as shown here. After double clicking the lesson, a pop-up box will appear to let you customize the settings. Here you will want to make sure it shows your group name and it is selected. This toggle switch is usually off by default and rarely used but you can turn it on if you want to set the student's enrollment or when they register as a start date. As we move down, you will see the start date of the lesson you placed into the calendar. Below that, you will have three options. Do you want it only available for 24 hours once it is accessible? Is there no end date? Meaning once it is available, it will stay available? Or the final option is to set an end date. In this case, we will set an end date. You can even set the time on the date if you'd like. The next option you will see are to include or exclude users. Here you can select if you want to include or exclude users in your group from the list of users. If you would like to do that, you simply click on whether you would like to include or exclude them from the parameters for this lesson. Then you would find their name in the list of users, highlight their name, and hit the down arrow to separate them from the rest of the group. Once that is complete, you will click on the Save Schedule button. Once it is saved, you will see the adjusted dates in which the lesson will be accessible. You can do the same thing with complete courses. Simply drag the course you would like to schedule into the calendar and go through the same steps. You can even quickly modify the dates by dragging the green bar at the desired date. If you want to delete a scheduled course or lesson, simply click the X on the green bar as shown here. The other thing you can do is create messages that your drivers will see if they try accessing a course that is scheduled and not currently accessible. In this case, we will drop the hazard awareness course in the calendar and set its parameters. Then you can click on the course messages tab and it will open up an area where you can leave additional details like this. And of course, after making any changes, be sure to update the settings. If students try accessing this course, this is what they would see. If they try accessing a lesson in the course, they would see this. As you can see, our new courses calendar allows more control to group leaders. If you do not want to apply any settings, leave it be and drivers would have access to all courses and lessons by default. Thanks for watching and happy scheduling.